Today I have the honor of speaking in favor of Bill C-45, a legislation proposed by our government to legalize the consumption of marijuana in Canada while regulating it rigorously. The Cannabis Act is a new approach to cannabis, legislation that focuses on public health and public safety and that will better protect young Canadians. The cannabis just doesn't work. It has allowed criminals and organized crime to profit while also failing to keep cannabis out of the hands of Canadian youth. In many cases, it's easier for our children to buy cannabis than cigarettes. Canadians continue to use cannabis at some of the highest rates in the world. It's the most commonly used illicit drug amongst young Canadians. In 2015, 21% of youth aged 15 to 19 reported using cannabis in the past year. That's one out of every five young people in our country. Today, it's regulated and controlled by organized crime. Far better to have it regulated and controlled by government. Too many of our young people feel that cannabis is simply a benign substance, but they're often misinformed about the harm that can be caused when they use cannabis, and that by using it early, they may be more susceptible to long-term effects. Young people in particular are more susceptible, more vulnerable to the effect on uh, brain development. The THC levels affect the biology of the brain. Black market cannabis can be contaminated by mold, pesticides and other more dangerous drugs. At the same time, too many young people today are entering the criminal justice system for possessing small amounts of cannabis potentially impacting their long-term opportunities. Clearly, there has to be a better way of educating and protecting our youth. And Madam Speaker, in Vancouver Quadra, in the, first dec in the second decade of the century, we were seeing regular violent attacks on our city streets, in my riding included, uh, with bystanders being hurt. That was part of the, a part of the competition for these profits amongst organized crime gangs. And that's why in September 2011, I began working in Ottawa within the Liberal Caucus, organizing meetings and bringing expert speakers to Ottawa to advance the dialogue to, about cannabis prohibition and how legalization could address some of those, those uh, serious problems. Uh, Madam Speaker, I, I have the privilege of in Vancouver Quadra and Vancouver working with former attorney generals and justice and health professionals in a coalition called Stop the Violence BC, uh, and we had common cause on legalization. And, but I would like to focus my comments today on the benefits of this legalization for youth. One of our government's primary objectives for Bill C-45. Je commence en soulignant. I'd like to begin by pointing out that this bill is one aspect of an overall approach to cannabis use. The government is trying to reduce cannabis use by youth to restrict their ability to obtain the product and to provide them with better information on its health, harms and risks and to keep them out of the criminal justice system for possessing even small amounts of cannabis as is possible today. This approach requires legislative and regulatory measures and support for public education and awareness. To this end, our government has begun a public education campaign with a focus on youth and their parents to better inform them about cannabis and its health harms and risks. With all these measures, I am confident that our government's global approach will make us more successful in protecting our young people from the uh, potential harms of these substances. Specific measures in the Cannabis Act to help safeguard our youth. As a society, we have learned much from the health and safety controls put in place for other potentially harmful substances like tobacco, alcohol, and prescription medications. Bill C-45 uses these best practices as its starting point. 
Dès le début, le projet de loi. At the very beginning, Bill C-45 establishes prohibitions on the sale to anyone under 18 years old and also a prevents people from under 18 from acquiring these substances. Any adult found guilty of participating in these kinds of activities will be liable to uh, sentencing up to 14 years. It's to use cannabis that we have seen in the past with tobacco, Bill C-45 would prohibit any form of cannabis for example, like gummy bears or lollipops designed to appeal to youth. To further protect youth, cannabis producers or retailers would be prohibited from using any kind of packaging or labeling that might be appealing to youth or to use any kind of endorsement, lifestyle promotion, or cartoon animal to pr promote their product. And the promotion and advertising of cannabis products would not be permitted in any place or in any media that could be accessed by youth. We are taking the health and safety of our youth very seriously. Bill C-45 also includes authority to make regulations that could require cannabis to be sold in child-resistant packaging to protect our youngest ones from accidentally consuming this product. So taken together, these measures constitute a comprehensive approach to protecting the health and safety of our youth. En plus de préserver la santé... Now, besides uh, preserving public health and public safety, one of our government's goals is to prevent the criminalization of Canadians who have committed minor offences. When you have a criminal record for simple possession of small quantities of cannabis, there can be significant consequences on housing, on volunteering, on travel. All this can become much more complicated when you have a criminal record. And this is something that we need to think about. Do we want to continue to burden Canadians with this kind of punishment for having been in possession of a small amount of cannabis? Our government's answer is absolutely not. Legislation sets out a 30 gram possession limit for dried can cannabis in public for adults aged 18 and over with strict penalties for adults who give or try to sell it to youth or who use a young person to commit a cannabis related offense. Bill C-45 takes a different approach to cannabis possession by youth, one that recognizes that in some circumstances entering the criminal justice system can do more harm than good. Prisons can be known for turning a misguided person into a bad person at great public expense. Under Bill C-45, youth would not face criminal pro prosecution for possessing or sharing a very small amount of cannabis. Any activities by youth involving more than small amounts of cannabis, defined as over five grams, would be addressed under the provisions of the Youth Criminal Justice Act. Our government will work with the provinces and territories in order to support the crafting of legislation in each jurisdiction that will allow police services to be able to confiscate cannabis from young people. Authorities will be allowed to remove any quantity of cannabis that these people will have in their possession. This approach addressing youth possession of cannabis does not mean that such behavior is acceptable or encouraged. It is not. It rather it recognizes that a more balanced approach with a range of tools works better to reduce cannabis consumption among youth, which is exactly what we are aiming for. Madam Speaker, we believe that this law strikes the right balance between avoiding criminalizing youth for possession of small amounts and ensuring that cannabis remain tightly regulated and controlled just as Canadians wish it to be. Thank you, Madam Speaker.